The year is 2012. There have already been a few Malayalam movie releases with the big names like Mohanlal in Casanova and Mammootty and Suresh Gopi in The King and the Commissioner. But we're halfway through April and the landscape of Malayalam cinema is about to change forever, for good. Hi there, I am Parvati and I am a film nut for Malayalam cinema. This goes back to when I was little and would laugh at the comedy sequences in Yodha or stare in open-mouthed wonder at Shobana dancing to Urumurai in Manichitra Tara. So I was already proud of the cinema of my mother tongue. But little did I know, as we sank our teeth into the year that the world was supposed to end, that what would come to be known as New Gen Malayalam Cinema was just getting started. Allow me to take you through five films from 2012 that I think changed the landscape of Malayalam commercial cinema. And these films all turned 10 years old this year. And we're going to do this in chronological order of release because, well, why assign ranks to the good stuff? Number 1. 22 Female Courtier Where to begin with this one? It normalized premarital live-in relationships, there is no real leading man, and the protagonist is a badass woman who is not some virginal belle. And this movie gave us a glimpse into the acting genius of this person you may have heard of called Fahad Fasil. And also another name to look out for, writer Shyam Pushkaran. Looking back, 22 Female Courtyam definitely was a heralder of the exciting times coming up for Malayalam cinema in the 2010s. Number 2. Manjari Kuru I have only seen this beautiful movie once but it is imprinted on my mind as one of the finest tales of nostalgia and family dynamics in cinema. This movie marks the full-length feature debut of writer and director Anjali Menon following the brilliant shot Happy Journey in the anthology Kerala Cafe. And what a debut it was. She cemented her place in Malayalam cinema as one of its most nuanced storytellers who didn't compromise on the entertainment factor in her films. Number 3. As if to prove me right on that last point, Ustad Hotel. This entertainer was written by Anjali Menon and directed by Anwar Rashid. Ustad Hotel taught Malayalis that Mamuka San Dulkar Sanman was not just a chip of the old block, but an actor in his own right to look out for. Ustad Hotel beautifully captures the importance of food in a person's life, in bringing a family together, and really how vital it is in the very identity of a city. If you haven't yet watched this movie, I recommend that you first get yourself a large portion of Koi Kod Biryani and a glass of Suleimani Chaya before you hit that play button. Number 4. Tattatin Marayatin I'll be honest, this is not a personal favourite of mine. But what a cultural phenomenon it was. I'm sure you remember how many Malayali girls would post photos of themselves wearing a tattam and how many boys would swoon over these girls for that simple act. Tatatin Marayatta is also remembered for catapulting actor Nivin Pali and writer-director Vinay Srinivasan onto the centre stage in Malayalam cinema. Number 5, a movie that's very close to my heart, Da Tadia. This movie spoke about body shaming and self-love before they became trendy hashtags in a non-preachy and honestly funny way. It also takes knocks at the wellness industry that preys on people's insecurities. This movie gave us a pre-superstardom Nivin Pauly who is very convincing as the understated bad guy. And more importantly, it gave us Srinath Bhasi and the My Love song. Da Tadia is a movie to watch when you're not feeling very good about yourself and need a warm hug, the kind that Luka Chan is famous for in the movie. With that, we are done with my top 5 Malayalam movies of 2012. But here are a few honourable mentions. Grandmaster, Arige, Urimuri, Ayalum Nyanum Tamil, Thivram and Bhavuti Uda Namathil. Do leave us a comment telling us what you thought about this list and what you would do differently. And I hope you're already subscribed to the Film Nut. Let's roll!